welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is April. Today is gonna be a cleaning video, but specifically it is going to be a cleaning video on all the things we do to try to reduce my son Martin's allergies. My son Martin is four years old and we recently found out that he is allergic to dust, pollen, grass, um, cockroaches, weird, and dogs or any animal with fur like because of the dander and we have two dogs our allergist said that his allergies to the dogs are not so bad that they would recommend us rehoming them yet allergies can change but as of right now martin's in here being crazy as of right now we are keeping the dogs and we are keeping them separate in a separate spot of the house and i'm going to share with you all the other things we do to try to keep his allergies to a minimum so first thing I'm gonna start with is cleaning the ceiling fans throughout our entire house and then I have a long list of other things we're doing today so let's get some cleaning motivation if your kids have allergies I hope this helps I hope you get a couple of tips and allergies are just so hard to deal with but you know Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my Another thing that we do to help with Martin's allergies is we wash his bedding at least once a week. I literally just washed it yesterday, so I'm not going to wash it again. But I am going to make his bed and clean up his bed. He sleeps with like a ton of stuffed animals. So I try to wash them like every couple weeks. Some of them are like not very durable, so it's a little hard. Um, but with those ones, I put them in pillowcases and then throw them in the wash. I'm joking. So with those ones, I put them in a pillowcase and throw them in the wash, and then I just put all of them in the dryer, and they've been fine. But I know some people like hang them out in the sun to dry. I don't do that because he's allergic to pollen, which is outside. So I'm just gonna make his bed, clean it up. That way when I come in here to vacuum and dust everything, it's a lot easier to do that. I don't wanna slow this down. My heart is screaming out your name. I'm wasted on you. Here we are right underneath the stars. So let's get a little reckless. You make me breathless and I won't waste this. And I promise that I is kind of messy right now but this is our like mud room entryway whatever you want to call it and unfortunately this is the part of the house that we keep the dogs in i mean it's fine for them it's sad for us because we used to let them just like roam the whole house and be part of the family and now that martin has allergies we have to keep them confined but Matthew and I will come in here like while the kids are sleeping or Matthew works in here a lot. His like office desk is right there. So he hangs out with the dogs pretty much Monday through Friday during the work week. So they're not like alone in here and they have each other, but it's definitely a major adjustment for us. We run the Roomba in this room all the time. We want to get a second Roomba so we can keep our old one down here so we can run it every day. And we just try to keep like the dog hair and everything under control as much as we can. Matthew washes the dogs once a week. So he's out washing them right now. 
and that is new for us. We used to not wash them there very much because like we don't want to irritate their skin or whatnot. We are looking into like a special shampoo that's supposed to help with allergies, but we haven't found one yet that we think will be okay for our black lab skin because he has sensitive skin. So that is another process for us, but we're doing the best we can. We're doing the most we can to make sure that our animals are loved and happy and at home. And also that obviously Martin's allergies aren't that bad. Like we want them to be as minimal as possible. And the allergist did say that we don't have to rehome our dogs at this point. We just need to make a few adjustments. So that's what we're doing. And now I need to get back to cleaning up the house. This is like a full-time job cleaning for a kid with allergies. the house like every other day sometimes every day in the room that Martin mostly plays in which is our living room and obviously the kitchen because Aubrey Ryan is just like messy and crumbs are always everywhere especially since our dogs no longer pick up the crumbs all over the house and then we got a HEPA air filter which or a air purifier which we keep in our living room which is um mo the room that martin spends probably the most time in besides his bedroom and then we want to get a smaller one for his room we just haven't done it yet we also want to upgrade our vacuum cleaner to the dyson so we're probably gonna do that hopefully it goes on sale for like black friday or something and get that bought this year and then we also change out our air filter for our air conditioning like once a month so that really helps with his allergies and we just try really hard to keep our house clean and as allergy safe as we can. On his mattress, we have a special like pad or it's not really a pad, it's like a cover that helps with allergies. We just got that on Amazon, so I'll link that down below. And yeah, Martin has to take a nasal spray every day and anytime he's going to play with our dogs or any animals, he has to take like Claritin or Zyrtec. He also has a special allergy medicine in case he has like a flare up, which happened one time with a cat and one time when we were outside, there must have been some plant that he was like extremely allergic to and he like swelled up. And this medicine is like a nighttime medicine or just like, like a stronger Benadryl that will make him tired. So it's definitely been an adjustment for us. We also try to wash our walls once a month, which is just like such a chore, but it needs to be done anyways. And we don't have anyone helping us with the cleaning, so it's just Matthew and I doing it right now. Hopefully in the future that will be in our budget so we could get a little bit of help with all this. But as of right now, it is not, so it's our job. But yeah, that is pretty much all the things we do to try and keep our home as comfortable as possible for Martin and to keep his allergies to a minimum. If you guys have a child with allergies like dogs and you have kept your dogs or dust or anything like that and you have more tips, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear all of the things you do because this is new to us and we are just going off of everything that the allergist told us, but it is definitely definitely a lot of work so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you are new here please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys